All right, if you are looking at um, linear inequalities, what this is is instead of an equation form, which would have one single solution, um, linear inequalities are going to have a whole set of numbers, uh, oftentimes be solutions to the particular problem. And so uh, the different forms that you're looking at, uh, again, the inequalities are simply greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. So those will replace an equation in a statement. Okay, so if you're given an inequality statement that looks like this. Okay, there are ways to graph these and we're going to talk about it, but the first set of questions are going to ask you to confirm whether an ordered pair or a set of coordinates uh, is a solution to a particular equation. Okay, so it might ask you, is the point um, 0, negative 6, 2, 4, or negative 3, 2 a solution? Okay, and so if you're looking at these, it's very simple. You just test the coordinates in and fi figure out, do you get a true statement or an untrue statement? Right. If you get a true statement, then it is a solution. If it's an untrue statement or a false statement, you get uh, no solution for your answer. And so if we test the point 0, negative 6, you plug in a 0, again, for your x and y. Plug in a 0 for x. Plug in a negative 6 for y. And you test the validity of this statement. So you have a negative 0. 2 times a negative 6 is minus 12. Is it true that 0 minus 12 is less than 6? Yeah. So this right here would be a solution. Okay. You would then test for 2 and 4. So if you have negative 2 plus 2 times 4, is that less than 6? In this case, negative 2 plus 8 is 6. Is it true that 6 is less than 6? Not true. So this one would not be a solution. And then you can test the last one. Negative, a negative 3 plus 2 times 2. Is that less than 6? So is it true that 3 plus 4 is less than 6? Once again, not true. 7 is not less than 6. And so here are these two statements that are false. This statement true would be the only solution for that set. Okay, so that's what it's asking if you're just looking for <coughs> uh, to identify whether something is or is not a solution. Okay, in addition to checking for solutions, you're also going to have to be able to graph linear inequalities. Okay, there's several different forms that you need to be aware of when you're graphing. Okay, the first is just the simple ones, kind of like the equations y equals b or x equals a, where they just give you one variable. And so if they give you a single variable, and then the symbol for inequality, I'll just use an, an equal sign with a slash through it. Okay, so there's two different cases where you might have a single variable inequality. One is where y is the only variable. Okay, so if this is what you're looking for, when you graph a linear inequality, you're simply going to solve for the variable. Okay, so here if we solve for y, we perform the same operations we would if it was an equation. So we undo the order of operations. So we have 2 times y. We can undo that by dividing both sides by 2. If we divide both sides by 2, we get the 2's cancel. y is greater than 3. And so here is our inequality. When you're using or graphing a single variable inequality, you're going to graph the corresponding line. So in this particular case, when we sketch this, the, the equation that we're going to graph is y is equal to 3. Okay. When you graph this line, you're going to use a solid line. 
when you have a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to when it has the inclusion of the set, the set or the, uh, the term. And you're going to use a dashed line when there's no inclusion. So when it's a greater than or a less than. So in this case, we have a greater than. So is it going to be a dashed or solid line? Dashed, dashed line. So we'll, we're going to graph a line at y equals 3. So 1, 2, 3. So instead of just a solid line, we're going to have a dashed line. Okay. And after you graph the line, you're going to shade in the solution set. Okay. There's a couple different ways that you can decide whether uh, what part to shade. It's always going to be one half of your plane. So in this particular case, it's either the upper half or the lower half. Okay. One way to figure out how to shade the solution set is you could test a point. Okay. And so the easiest point, if it's not included, is the origin. If you test 0, 0 here to see is 0, 0 a solution to this inequality? Is 0 greater than 3? No. If it's not, you're going to shade the other portion. So here we'll shade above it. If it had been a solution, you shade the portion containing that test point. And so that's one way is just to test the point. The other way is to uh, use the tendencies. Okay, and when you're looking at the tendency, greater than means above, less than, and it includes the equality. Greater than or greater than or equal to means above, less than, less than or equal to means below. Okay, when you're dealing with y's, when you're dealing with x's, above becomes to the right and below becomes to the left because then you'd just be dealing with what x values fall above the given one or below which the x's move left and right it's the y's that move up and down so this is in reference to a y so here since we have y is greater than three greater than means above where are the y's greater than the given line so above it would be the shaded portion Okay, there's another single variable inequality to pay attention to, and that's if you're given x. So let's take a look at that case really quickly. Um, okay, so here we have uh, negative 3x is greater than or equal to 9. If I ask you to sketch this graph, okay, your steps are the same. You're going to solve your variable. So in solving this, we divide both sides by a negative 3. That gives us x is. Now, what happens with inequalities when you multiply or divide by negative? Flip the symbol. It becomes less than or equal to. 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. So here is your equation to begin with, or your inequality. So we're going to sketch the graph of x equals negative 3. So here's 1, 2, 3 in the negative direction. Is it going to be a solid or dashed line here? Now it has the equal to, so it'll be a solid line. Okay, so here's our graph of x equals negative 3. And now this is the only case where you deal with right or left. Everything else, you're solving for the y's. But we want all the x's that are less than. So x's that are less than this fall to the what? To the right or to the left? They fall to the left. So when we shade this region, our solution set will be everything to the left of it. So any point that falls in this region here will be a solution to that inequality.